Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve one uh, circuit analysis problem uh, using the star to delta and delta to star transformation technique. Okay, so you see the question for the network shown in figure below, find the equivalent resistance between the terminal B and C. Okay, so here you see, uh, this is not a circuit, this is a network. Okay, so already you know the difference between circuit and network. Uh, circuit means uh, uh, the interconnection of some elements, uh, uh, it will have some closed loop. Okay, so this is a network, it consisting of only the passive element, it will not uh, uh, having any uh, energy sources, voltage sources and current sources. Okay, so this is a network, so for this network, uh, we have to reduce, okay, we have to find equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance means total resistance between the terminal B and C. So you see, this is the B terminal, this is the C terminal. Across this B and C terminal, we have to find the equivalent resistance, okay? So uh, this network, we have to, this circuit, we have to reduce into one single resistance in between B and C, okay? So already you know the technique, uh, uh, while reducing the network into one single resistance, uh, we have to reduce the network from last to this end okay so you see from last to this end so you see the connections this 3 ohm 1 ohm 3 ohm uh, is this uh, resistance are kind in either series or parallel combination no okay if it is a parallel combination this 3 ohm and 1 ohm one end is connected another end is also connected but in another end there is another one resistance is there okay so we can't say this 3 ohm 1 ohm 3 ohm either in series or parallel okay so we can't reduce this given network using resistors in series, resistors in parallel, okay? So instead, we may use another one configuration. So already we studied in the next uh, previous video, star connection and delta connection. So here you see the given network is connected in. So this outer network, you see, this outer network A, B, C. So this connection, this 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm is connected in which is shape? Delta shape. Similarly, you see the inner, okay, you see the three one ohm resistor resistor, okay, you see this one ohm, this one ohm, one, this one ohm. These three resistances are connected in Y connection, star connection, okay. So here, one delta connection is there, one star connection is there, okay. So in order to uh, reduce this uh, combination, okay, this complex network into one single resistance, uh, we may choose two methods. Okay, in first method, this inner star connection, okay, this inner star connection, you have to convert into delta. Okay, this star, you just convert into delta. So if you are converting this star into delta, two delta is available. So that the two, two resistance appears in parallel, so you may simplify, it is a first method. Okay, or another method, uh, you you take this outer circuit, you take this outer, okay, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, this delta network, you just convert into star. So if you are replacing this 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm into star means, so in parallel to this star, another one star is available, then this two, two resistances are connected in parallel, uh, then you may uh, reduce into single resistance. Okay, so you may use uh, any one of the method, in the final answer, it should be same. Okay, so now in this thing, we are going to convert this inner. Okay, we are going to convert this inner star connection. This is star connection. This star connection, we are going to convert into delta. Okay, so only you consider, first you consider this star. Okay, this star network. So one ohm, you take this, one ohm, one ohm, one ohm, A, B, C. Okay, so this node is, as it is, you write A, B, C, okay. In between this A, B, C, one, one ohm resistor is connected. So you have to convert this star network into corresponding delta. So already you know the formula, okay. And in this, you know down uh, the, in star connection, the three resistor values are equal, okay. If equal means it is very easy to solve, okay. While converting uh, the star into delta, already you know the formula, Okay, so what is the formula in order to convert uh, the star to delta? So in order to convert the star to delta, so you know the formula is that, so you see this formula, R, A, B, 
okay r a r b r c is given means this r a b r a c r b c is calculated by r a b equal to the numerator is you multiply these two resistant these two resistant these two resistant divided by the opposite resistance okay and if in star network the values are equal means in delta network is also the three resistance are equal what is the value means three times the that r value okay so directly we can use that method so in our given network uh, so you see this uh, star network is having one 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 ohm resistor so automatically what is the corresponding delta value delta value is three times this one ohm okay so that's why in between a and b b and c uh, a and c you just connect the three ohm three ohm three ohm okay so first this inner network we converted into this thing okay and now the second step is to you just replace okay you just replace instead of this star you just connect this delta in our diagram okay so you just remove this star okay the star you remove so in between a and b you connect one three ohm in between a and c you connect one three ohm in between b and c you connect one three ohm already one three ohm three ohm three ohm is there okay so now the diagram is redrawn as so you see a b c already in a to b one three ohm three ohm three ohm is there uh, instead of that uh, star to delta conversion again one three ohm three ohm it will come so this three ohm three ohm is in parallel combination this three ohm three ohm is in parallel this three ohm three ohm is in parallelly connected okay now this parallel combination of three with the three you just find the answer so three parallel combination with the three how to calculate three into three by three plus three so the answer is 1.5 ohms okay so the parallel combination of this two resistance is 1.5 similarly parallel combination of this two three is 1.5 parallel combination of this is 1.5 okay and again so our question is to we how to find the equivalent resistance between the terminal b and c okay so in order to reduce this network you have to reduce from opposite direction so you see now this 1.5 and 1.5 how it is connected this 1.5 and this 1.5 how it is connected 1.5 one end this 1.5 one end is connected in one end another end is in different point so this two 1.5 connected in series combination okay why uh, in which situation means in order to reduce this network across the terminal b and c okay across the terminal b and c if we want to reduce means this 1.5 and this 1.5 is in which combination series so 1.5 plus 1.5 we can get 3 ohms okay so already in b to c 1 1.5 ohm is that now you see across the b and c this 3 ohm and 1.5 ohm connected in which combination parallel combination okay so now you just find the uh, parallel combination of 3 with 1.5 So three with one point five is three into one point five divided by three plus one point five. So the answer is one ohm. Okay. So the equivalent resistance. So the or equivalent resistance between the terminal B and C is a one ohm. Okay. So this is the answer. So in this manner you just solve. Okay. But in the question, if uh, the question is that find the equivalent resistance across the terminal A and C means instead of B and C. if the question is uh, find the resistance across a and c means so across this a and c you have to find out okay so at the time uh, in order to reduce the circuit across this a and c now this to this 1.5 and this 1.5 is in series combination okay anyway we can get the same answer for this problem since uh, all values are equal values okay so this is a one type of problem okay so use uh, from this problem you may get one five mark question okay for this uh, uh, university okay university you may get one five mark or six mark question uh, from this topic okay so you convert the inner star into delta then uh, that the deltas are parallel combination you reduce the second step then series and finally parallel you just find the answer okay this is a one problem and uh, second problem we are going to see one more uh, five mark question or a uh, six mark or eight mark question determine the equivalent resistance across a and b of the circuit shown below okay this is the given circuit a b c so here you see outer a b c you see 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 ohm is connected 
if the values are equal means it is very easy to uh, convert star to delta delta to star okay if values are different means uh, we may use that calculations okay uh, so the outer the outer structure is delta then within that you see this one small a small b small c here also one delta is there okay but uh, in instead in center here one to ohm here one to ohm here one to ohm is connected okay so how to uh, reduce this network into one single resistance we are going to see so in order to reduce uh, this thing we may use the three steps okay first one this inner this inner delta structure okay this is one inner delta structure you know the three 6 ohm resistor 6 ohm 6 ohm and 6 ohm you see this is the a this is the b and c okay in between small a b c the three 6 ohm resistors are connected in delta okay so first reduce this delta network into star okay so reduce this delta network into star already you know if the values in delta network is equal means the corresponding star network value is also equal that value equal to the delta value divided by 3 okay so you know uh, this 3 6 ohm 6 ohm 6 ohm if you are converting into star means that star resistance value equal to this delta resistance value divided by 3 so 6 divided by 3 so 2 ohm okay 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm and now uh, you just replace this center delta network by this star network okay so now our total diagram you see this is the our total diagram a b and c so in outer 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 ohm is connected in c2 here 1 2 ohm here 1 2 ohm here 1 2 ohm is that so this is said to be the small a okay so you see a small a small b small c okay so in between this is a uh, this is node small b this is node small c this is neutral so in between a small a small b small c you just connect 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm star okay so now you see uh, now you see how uh, how we can reduce the circuit now you see this 2 ohm and 2 ohm how it is connected this 2 ohm and 2 ohm is in series combination so you just add so 2 plus 2 4 similarly this 2 ohm and 2 ohm you see series this 2 ohm and 2 ohm you see series so 4 4 4 so now you see the next diagram outer 4 and inner one star 4 okay so the next step already you know okay so this step is the uh, previous question okay so this step is the previous question so in this what is the next step so we have to convert this inner star network into delta once again okay so this inner star 4 4 4 you just convert into delta while converting star to delta if the values are equal means in delta the value is 3 into r okay so 3 into 4 we can get 12 12 12 12 okay 12 12 12 so now you replace this uh, center star by this delta already in abc 1 4 1 4 1 delta is there so now you see a b c So already one four ohm four ohm is there. Now one twelve ohm twelve ohm twelve ohm is connected. Now how this four ohm and twelve ohm is connected? Parallel. This two parallel. This two parallel. This two parallel. So you just find the answer. Twelve parallel combination with the four. Twelve into four divided by twelve plus four. So you may get three ohms. Okay. So now uh, you replace this parallel combination by three ohm, three ohm, three ohm. Okay. And what is our question? Our question is to we how to find the equivalent resistance across the terminal a and b okay so in order to find resistance across this a and b we have to reduce from the opposite direction okay so now you see this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm how it is connected series okay since this 2 3 ohm is connected in only one end another end is in different point okay so what is the current flowing through this 3 ohm is always flowing through this 3 ohm also that's why this true 2 3 ohm resistor connected in series so this 3 ohm 3 ohm you just add it is to so the circuit is converted to like this so 6 ohm and 3 ohm now it is parallel so the 6 ohm and 3 ohm parallel combination you do 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 so the answer is 2 ohm 2 ohms okay so the r equivalent 
the equivalent resistance across the terminal A and B is 2 ohms. Okay, so this is also yeah, another one problem. Okay, so the R equivalent value uh, we calculated R equivalent is equal to 2 ohm. Okay, so this is a second type of question. So here we are using the three things. One is this inner delta, you convert it into star. Then this star, this star, you just combine using series. Then that star, you just convert into again delta, you may get the answer. Okay, so this is a simple problem only. If uh, uh, in that uh, delta and star, if all values are equal, means the calculations are easy. If uh, they are given different, different value means it is somewhat tedious. Okay, so that is a 13 mark problem. If all values are given means you may solve it for the five mark or six mark problem. Okay, so this is a uh, one type of uh, important star to delta and delta to star transformation. So you may get one question, either two mark question and uh, this uh, big question, okay, from this topic, okay, in this second unit. So thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos. And uh, if you want to learn all videos related to the circuit analysis in my channel, in the name of circuit analysis, one playlist is there. In the name of uh, circuit analysis MCQ, another one playlist is there. In that, all videos are available in topic wise. Okay, in MCQ, uh, in MCQ playlist, uh, only the two mark question and one mark question is given. Uh, in the lecture video, uh, all big questions uh, are derived in a uh, topic wise. Okay. So thank you. We will meet in the next video with uh, one more problem using the star to delta and a delta to star conversion.